Hello everyone. My name is Ankit. Uh, I and my colleague Pratamesh are basically here to sort of help you along and uh, also guide you uh, with your lessons in Django. So I'll talk for maybe just a few minutes about how we'll be going along with this workshop. Uh, this is sort of a blended workshop where we have the Yaksh platform where you have already signed up and you will be following along some lessons and modules on that platform. Uh, most of the modules on that platform uh, are pertaining to uh, intermediary or advanced Python lessons so that you are aware of concepts that are necessary to follow along for the Django training sessions right so we started off today with a short introduction uh, post that um, at around i guess 9 20 or so we will be moving forward with uh, the basic data types control flow and control core data structures on the yux platform right post lunch at around 2 uh, we will have the live session to start off and install Django on your system and followed by one module related to functions and then another module which will be live and uh, will involve setting up the Django project, setting up the basic welcome page on your Django project, etc. These will be live and will be taken by both me and Prathamesh who is also the co chair on this workshop. Uh, the last module uh, is itself called Python modules and will be sort of a 20 minute session on Yaksh. Uh, I hope you folks have received uh, the Yaksh uh, instructions and the schedule itself. Yes. Cool. Uh, so, uh, what we've done is, uh, you folks have already been through, uh, according to the recommendations, you folks have already been through the uh, preliminary uh, modules that we had recommended. There are more modules that we've uh, made live since yesterday, and you should be able to find them using the same instructions that we had given you. So, if you go to the menu, uh, the the main yaksh page where you type in your search code and if you type in the same if you type in the same search code that is django sep prelim you should be able to find two more courses now and those two courses are for today and tomorrow so there's a day one course and a day two course you will have to enroll in the day one course to be able to access uh, these lessons and you'll have to enroll on the day two course tomorrow to be in, to be able to access the next few lessons that are available for tomorrow. Can you please try this and let us know that you can do this. We'll be around for some more time, but otherwise you can uh, go ahead and start your lessons on Yaks. And we will meet back here either somewhere in between the day. So please keep track of the Zoom, uh, Zoom chat. Uh, so it is possible that uh, Professor Prabhu may like to pop in to interact with you folks. So we have a Q&A session at 11.40. Uh, that is also the time when me and Fatima should be around uh, for live uh, questions and answers that you would have based on the modules. It could also be that Professor Prabhu may be around to interact with you folks. And otherwise, we will meet back here at 2 p.m. for the Django lessons. Uh, at the moment, I can help you with uh, any enrollment issues with Yaksh, etc. Uh, so I see that there are some queries. Uh, Suraj asks, so should we start with the recorded sessions? Yes, you can. Um, if you have access to the schedule, you'll see that the module name is written there. So the lesson may contain, the course may contain a lot more modules but the essential modules have been listed in the schedule. So uh, there are many more modules in the course, 
but we recommend that you complete basic data types, control flow and core data structures in the first half. If you can't complete it in the given time, uh, you can take the rest of the day after the course and complete it before you come tomorrow. Uh, yes, so uh, the course name, I'll put it again in the chat. Uh, the course name is Fossey Day 1 Python and Django course. If you have access to the schedule, you should have access to the topics as well. The topics in the schedule are the same. Yes, the schedule is shared uh, with them on the guideline email. So it is there. Yes. I see that someone asked earlier on, uh, Subha Varshit asked that she couldn't find or he Okay, I can it. share it on the chat. I can do that. You go ahead with your presentation. Yeah. Uh, they mentioned that they couldn't find a course on the YAX platform. So Subha, if you could please let us know what issue you're facing. Uh, in the chat or you can unmute yourself and talk here, whatever works for you. Uh, so thank you for being here. Uh, I'll be around and Prathamesh will be around to solve any queries. But otherwise, uh, folks who have no issues can go ahead by signing into Yaksh and starting with the recommended courses. Uh, like I said, we'll be around at 11.40 for the Q&A. So we'll be here live. Uh, we'll also be around at 2, 2 p.m. for the Django installation workshop. Prajakta asks if there are two courses available with the same name. No, there are two courses with two different names, that is day one and day two. Uh, Sir, please. I'm not able to find uh, any courses. I have login okay. to uh, Yaksh portal. Uh, here I can see two days Python and then your preliminary setup 2022. And when I click on continue, it show me different modules. No, so you'll have to enroll for the course first. Like you have enrolled for the preliminary course. You'll have to enroll for the new courses as well. So please uh, type in the course code that I have written in the chat okay, okay, in the search bar. And then you can. Uh, OK, thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm unable to find that course in the. Uh, yeah, one second. Uh, so, uh, can you uh, can you have you logged into Yaks? Yes, sir. Can you see a search bar on the on the dashboard screen? The the first screen that you yes, come sir. across when you log in. So can you type in the course code that we have typed in Django SEP prelim? I'll type it in again. Can you see the search code in the chat? Yes, sir. Can you type it into that search bar, copy paste it or type it in whatever is more accurate? Uh, to folks who are new, yes, uh, the idea is that you just have to go about, uh, uh, go into YUPS and watch the videos as per the schedule that was sent to you and the topics that are in the schedule. Please watch those. Thank you. So, uh, Nivedita, have you typed in the course code? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Thank you, sir. Hello. Yeah, Kasim, can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. So you have to uh, log in uh, on the Yaksh portal. Yes, sir. Yaksh dot, uh, dot in, and you have to uh, enter the search code uh, Django. So I'm uh, typing it on the chat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can see that. Yeah. So this is the course code. After you log in, search for this course code, and uh, you will find. Uh, a course. Mm, one second. So, sir, we have to uh, need to study that uh, course on. Yeah, program. you need to go through that course. Yeah, and the topics are uh, only those topics which are mentioned in the schedule. Oh, oh, okay, so, okay, okay. So, yeah. As per the schedule, you have to go through those topics. Uh, so, uh, okay, I'll give you the schedule as well. I think it's in the chat. 
Ah, uh, okay, okay. So I, I can yeah. work with it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. As per the schedule, we'll follow. Okay, those topics only. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. sure, sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Anushka, right? Uh, there's some problem in installing Anaconda. Yeah. Uh, so I am using Windows 11. So I uh, I'm not sure how how well we can help you there, but like uh, what was the issue or like what what is the problem that you had? Uh, oh, so when I uh, try to install it, it just uh, says waiting for the download, and it doesn't download. Okay. So I don't know where exactly the problem is. So are you saying that you're not able to uh, download the installer from this page? The page that I sent in chat. Oh yes, so whenever I tap on the download button, it uh, just doesn't get installed. Come into your download folder or whatever. It's about it's about 5 600 MB. Uh so it's possible that it takes time. But maybe you can try different networks. maybe another another data network that you have possibly and try to download it again because then uh if you're saying that uh, this is the problem then it, it's i mean it's not even the issue with installation it is just that some sort of issue where your network is not allowing you to download or uh something of that sort so i don't know are you are you using your own home network or are you in some office or college Uh, I am using home network. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, if you if you can, can you try to use a mobile network, data network, to try and see if you can download it? I don't know. It's possible if you have one of those uh, geo data networks or something like that. Or maybe like any third party apps. They are just trying to. they are not allowing me to download it so on windows you are the admin user administrator or oh uh, yes sir so you are uh, the admin uh, in the uh, means you use the account is administrator account that you are using because to install anything it will uh, ask for the permission but for download i think there shouldn't be problem it is not getting downloaded right yeah uh, so i can download other apps but only this one i am not able to download so what exactly it states like uh, anything no uh, when i just tap on download it says like successful download but it doesn't show any file getting downloaded the exe file uh okay can you uh, can you is it possible for you to share your screen uh okay Oh, uh, so I'm using mobile. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see. So after download, uh, can you check uh, the downloads? All the downloads that has happened. Just show this page, and it doesn't download. Yeah. So can you go to downloads? Uh, if you like, uh, there are three dots. Uh, you can see. Uh, one second. Okay. We are going there. Fine. Um, yeah. Oh, on the browser, can you go on the browser? Or you uh, once you go on uh, Control J, can you press Control J? So uh, these are the latest download. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for downloading and distribution. Oh, that shouldn't be the case. Uh, okay. Can you try something else? Can you click on the link that I had sent in? Pro slash product slash distribution downloads, or on that window icon below the download button, whichever works for you. Okay. Can you click on that sixty-four bit installer? Five ninety-four MB. No, so it's not working. Okay, go back to that point. Click on that Windows icon again. Go down. Okay. Now it works. Yeah, yeah. Now it works. 
थैंक यू कूल cool.